Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing a quick review of the HTC Panache 4G. This phone is also known as the T-Mobile MyTouch 4G in the US. Now this phone is currently available on Mobilicity and um, as you know if you're a Mobilicity or Win customer there aren't that many high-end Android devices available. So I thought I'd give everyone you know, um, a quick look at my user experience over the last three months with this phone. And I gotta say, uh, I've been very happy with this phone and um, I've tried other phones such as the uh, Samsung Nexus S and the LG Optimus 2X and of course this phone here. And of the three phones, this was my favorite um, and I'll go over some of the reasons. So I'm gonna start off with the physical aspects of the phone. Um, if you're in Canada, you'll probably notice that there aren't that many choices for cases out there. So I purchased stuff like this off of eBay and other websites on uh, online. Um, it'll help if you look for the My Touch cases. It's the exact same phone again, so it will fit uh, this phone. So I'll show you the phone and operate it without the case. Um, overall, it's a very nice phone. Um, it's as you can see here, according to the specs. It's just under 150 grams, so it's a little heftier than um, some smartphones out there. But um, it is, you know, comfortable to hold, and it has a nice quality, you know, feel to it. Um, the back casing here is made of metal, as you can hear, so it's very sturdy. Um, I like it. The only thing I don't like about the back is that it's really hard to take the battery cover off, as you see here. Um, you know, you can chip a nail if you try to use a nail. I always use like a coin or something hard uh, to, uh, to pry the back open in order to access your SIM card or memory card. Uh, that's kind of a pain in the butt, but overall I like the design. Um, I'm not a big fan of the, the metal or the chrome bezel at all. Um, you know, it's kind of like an iPhone look, so I think it's kind of a copy to the iPhone, but whatever, you know, if you like it, you like it, right? If not, you buy one of these bad boy cases and you can cover that up, no problem. In terms of um, buttons here at the bottom, these are hard buttons, as you can see. Uh, HTC for this phone decided to go away with the capacitive touch buttons down here. Um, I actually do like the touch, the hard buttons, because you know when you actually touch it, you know you're touching it, and you, you don't accidentally press these buttons by accident when you're holding it to your face, or if you're actually you know typing on the screen. Um, it also has an optical trackpad here as well, which is a nice touch. There is the volume rockers here on this side. Um, this, these here are for the dock option. If you buy the dock and you insert it, it'll recognize it's in the dock and it'll go in the clock mode or alarm clock mode. Um, here's the micro USB port, the charging port here. Yeah, there it is there. Um, and then on this side, you have a dedicated camera shutter, which is nice because a lot of phones don't have that these days. On top here, you have the uh, um, headphone jack, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And on the back, you have a LED flash and a five megapixel camera. And on top here, you actually do get a dedicated secondary camera for you know Skype calls and uh, phone conferences, that kind of stuff, face-to-face -face calling. Now getting into the screen here, we do have a um, 3.8 inch LCD capacitive touch screen which is pretty nice and colorful. Um, you know, it's not as nice as the Samsung Galaxy S2 or the iPhone Retina display, but it gets the job done. Um, it's pretty bright. Uh, pixel density, again, isn't as bright as the other two phones I just mentioned, but overall, it's pretty good. Uh, what I don't like about the screen, though, and it's been a problem with a lot of HTC phones, is that it's horrible in sunlight. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, you see that LED, there's an, also an LED notification, uh, light notification up here as well. So let me clear that. Okay, so let me just go over the quick specs with you guys here. If I go into my settings and about phone, software information, you'll see that's running Android 2.3.3 and HTSense version 2.1. This phone is also running off a Qualcomm 1 GHz Snapdragon processor and has 1 GB of an internal memory and 700 86 megabytes of RAM. Uh, this phone is also uh, expandable, of course, for in terms of memory. I'm running a 16 gigabyte micro SD card here, uh, in here with no problems at all. Okay, now let's get into the everyday stuff of this phone. I'll also show you the desktop here. I love the desktop. Um, you know, it just seems to transition very smoothly. Um, of course, 
with all my phones, I like to basically maximize every single page that's available. You know, I just want to see how the phone runs and uh, how well it can handle, you know, everything running at once. I'm also running live wallpaper here in the background here. It's a HTC, you know, live wallpaper. HTC Sense has done a nice job in terms of widgets. This one's still loading. But, you know, it does a really good job and um, there's lots, lots of widgets available. And of course, if you guys want to see what's available, there's tons of reviews out there that like really get into HT Sense. I'm not gonna get too much into that. I will show you the one thing I do like is, of course, the beautiful weather animations that they have here. When you turn off your phone and stuff like that, it gives you these nice animations. Okay, so what one thing you guys probably want to see um, is making a phone call. Uh, just press that phone key here, and as you can see, there's a keypad that pops up here. You can go into your contacts. I have about 400 contacts in here and it, it scrolls through them pretty smoothly as you can see here. Again, no slowdown. Um, and that's one of the big selling features I think about this phone is that it just does things so seamlessly. In terms of apps, of course, with the Android market, there's tons to choose from. Um, this phone has no problem running most of the apps available on the market. And with the one gigabytes of internal storage and the 16 gig card that you you can install on here, um, you can install a lot of apps. And as you can see here, I've actually have installed a crap load of apps on my phone. I um, actually had more at one point, but I found that I wasn't using them all, so I just started deleting them. Um, here's the app screen, of course, on this phone. Um, I'm not a big fan of the page by page scrolling that HTC has implemented on this phone. I actually prefer the um, the stock Android phone, we kind of like flip all the way down with one swipe and flip all the way up uh, with one swipe. So this one doesn't have it, but you know, it's not that big of a deal. It's not a deal breaker by any means. And if you hit this one, you can see the, the apps you use the most. And if you hit this button here, you can see the app, all the apps that you've downloaded yourself from the market. Next thing I wanted to show you guys, um, which is a great feature on this phone with a lot of Android phones out there, is how easy it is to tether your data so you can use it with your PCs on the go. It's pretty cool, it, you know, HTC's made it really easy. I just created a shortcut here. You just hit Wi-Fi hotspot and you literally just turn this thing on here. And within a few seconds, you're ready to go. You have a hot, you have a Wi-Fi hotspot active and now you can now tether your phone with other devices, which is really cool. Okay, now let's get into the browser right now. Um, you know, of course, with mobile it depends on the time of day you're using this. That, that'll dictate how fast your browser actually, your internet speeds actually go. But if I go on the internet here, what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll clear all my cache in my cookies just to give a better sense of how fast this phone can be. Clear form data too, I guess. So, um... I'll give you an example here. Let's go to Engadget here and see how fast it loads. This is using uh, Mobilicity's network here. Actually, that was pretty fast. Um, hmm. I guess at 2, 2 p.m. on a Tuesday afternoon, you'll get pretty fast data with Mobilicity. I'll show you another website. Let's go to WWE. Dot com and the reason I chose this website because it's very flash intensive and it has a lot of ads and stuff so that'll give you a good idea of how fast this phone is still loading but there you go oops yeah, again, this is like a really, really heavy, intensive uh, uh, website here, and it looks just like you would normally see on uh, your computer here. As you see, scrolling's pretty good, and the flash is working. I also want to show you guys at least one game running on this phone. This is a pretty intensive game. Uh, it's Need for Speed Shift. And um, I'll just get it running here just to see, show you guys real quickly here. Okay. So as you see, it's pretty smooth. Uh, no slowdown at all. 
and the accelerometer works beautifully with this game. And again, this is like one of those more uh, memory intensive uh, games out there. So another everyday feature you guys are probably interested in seeing is text messaging, of course. Um, I downloaded GoSMS Pro um, just because I think it looks a lot nicer than the, uh, the stock uh, messaging app that's uh, installed on here. If you go in here, you know, load it up pretty quickly and I'm now a person who deletes all my messages and I have over 5,000 text messages in here. As you see, you can start one pretty quickly, you know, just add someone. Um, I also downloaded um, Swift Key keyboard here, which is the reason why it looks kind of funky. And you know, this is a great keyboard. Um, so if you guys are interested, Swift Key is a great alternative to the stock keyboard. It's great at predicts, predicting uh, your text and so what. So I'll give you an example. What well, sentence everyone uses? The quick brown fox ran over the fence. Something like that. But see, it's pretty good at predicting. Uh, all right, now I want to show you guys the uh, music player that HTC Sense has provided with us on this phone. Um, it's really great actually. It's easy to use, it's intuitive. Um, if I start playing this song here, you know, if it's on a shuffle already, you can actually just swipe swipe to a different song, which is really nice. And anyway, sw swipe back to go back to the song. If you go in here, um, you can see all sorts of things like the artist, the albums you have, playlists, if you have any, all the songs. So again, it's nice and easy to use and it's a nice touch. Of all the Android devices out there, I gotta say that the um, HTC Sense uh, user interface is really nice and probably one of the best ones out there. Okay, so now on to the camera. I'll just load the camera up here. Now HTC has done a great job with the camera um, with all the Android phones I've used. This is by far my favorite camera user interface just because there's so many options that you can use and there's a lot of editing features as well. So I'll give you an example here. Here's the um, here's a phone case that I got here. You can adjust the lighting. So let's say for example, we're in fluorescent or incandescent or fluorescent setting here. Go back and if you just touch where you just touch the focus, you just hit this shutter button. It'll take a photo, which is cool. And then if you want to get fancy with things, you can go into here and you can add effects like distortion, um, you know, vintage dots, which is pretty cool. Um, you can also add, you know, grayscale it, of course. Or what you could do is that if you already have a picture, such as the one I just took here, like this one, you can actually kick click on this button here, you can add effects to it. Now what's cool about this is that you can auto enhance the picture so it'll make it more saturated if it needs to be and that kind of stuff. You can also um, add effects like glimmer or you can add cool frames like this frame here or you can make it look vintage looking. So overall you know like this, these are just nice features to have on a camera I think. And that is it for my review. Hopefully I kept it nice and short and informative. If you guys have any additional comments or questions, you know, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And I hope you guys learned something about this phone and it helped with your purchasing decision um, on your next Android device. Again, thank you very much for watching.